what we're going to try out here is a how-to video on fishing weightless finesse worms so it's a little bit different than fishing a fluke but you can see it here i've got a zoom finesse worm a watermelon red flake color and i dyed the tail the ever slightest bit with the uh, chartreuse dipping glow what you'll do first is rig the nose on into the bend of the hook bring it out through the bottom slide her all the way around flip it over the top and i like to put mine over the eye of the hook and then measure up and see where you're going to bring it through the back and then hook it back into the skin a little bit and there you go no weight just a uh, size three hook and this is a really good setup for skipping too this is exactly what we're going to do skip it up under structure and let it sink some bring it back out and then we'll put it down this grass bank i like to work it kind of right at the surface i figure with the overcast we got right now they should be hitting top water if they are around so we'll just have to see if we come across them see there was one right there he grabbed it that's how we know we got the right lure now because i tried with the frog initially through here and nothing even looked at it and then i come through here with this worm and they're hitting it now, the only thing with these kind of setups is it's really really light so you really got to have some light tackle to cast it i'd almost fish this on my ultralight setup with the 10 pound line and stuff but you can see i can get some decent distance out of it and the good thing is it's so light, it's basically really hard to get it hung up in weeds, that is. And this ain't necessarily targeting the biggest fish, but it'll get you numbers. Set. But if a big one sees it, I don't think it'll refuse it. And again, cast on the bank before you walk up to it in case there's one sitting there. You don't want to spook him off. Just had one there he is just like that casted it out there popped it four times and he came off that's all right though and we know we're doing it right this hook is a heavier duty gauge than i would normally like to use especially for a spinning setup but i gave it some aggressive pops across the surface and then i let it sink and that's when he grabbed it as soon as i stopped it he grabbed it where the woods are real thick it's pretty good typically because a lot of people are too scared to come back here and get hung up but i've gotten hung up so many times it don't even matter to me anymore skip it under this no skip but hey it went just got hit by a little one I got him. there it is right there under the tree a little creek bass hiding in there you can see that he wanted it got a good hook set get the hook out of him there you go that's how it's done and the worm's a little messed up we'll get it fixed and i'm gonna go back down that same spot and see what happens just in case oh and it paid off oh <laughs> i knew i didn't get a good hook set on that one that was the old tree cast right there, boys. There's good odds I can get bit. I did. I got him. He's little. He come on. <laughs> that was textbook, though. Cast it right on the edge of that grass. Pop, pop. And he hit it. Anything. Usually, if you get bit and they don't hit it on your next couple casts, they're done but there was a different one right there that is a fat little bass look at how fat that little dude is see you later buddy there's a belly buster that was a good one
there we go. Right there on that brown stick. Get it in there and he come out. That's not a bad one either. All right, buddy. Look, hook fell right out. That's the importance of keeping that tension on them. This one's gonna release itself. Try to. There we go. All right, we're gonna end it here. All right, we got a new battery in. Just got one on the ship right there. It's the importance of being able to get way up under that cover. You can fish all around the outside and if you don't get it bit, then as soon as you put it on that cover, those bass, they don't see lures presented like that that often. That's why skipping is such a good presentation, especially in ponds. It's right on the edge of that grass. Might be something. Ooh. I got him. Little. <laughs> that did not look like what I just saw. There we go, little baby bass. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how, why is that like number four or something? There we go. Might do a little bit of a dry spell there. A little bass. Another one. There you go. It's like number six or seven. I don't know. 